semifinals of the World Championships, and here we go. Underway, Seth Gross has an interesting style. We've seen David Taylor get guys tired with the hand fight. This is one of those positions that Seth Gross is very good in, and this is what I was just getting ready to say. He gets people tired when they are on their offense. It's a very interesting strategy, but he's a master of it. The initial shot coming from Higuchi as he continues to drive in. Gross trying to fend off the early offense here from the Rio Olympian, the silver medalist, but it's been a trying three years for Higuchi. Still no points awarded yet. Gross trying to hang on. Now he loses grip of the leg, and Higuchi stuck with it. He'll immediately go to that upper body wrench. The key for him has been settling into a weight, and he appears to have found one at 61. Once again, Higuchi in on the leg, but Seth Gross proving to be very difficult to score on. Higuchi getting his head up. Seth Gross looking to be offensive from a defensive position. This is a tight scramble. Higuchi's going to get the exposure by pressing in, putting weight on the head. Strong opening period by Higuchi. Now trying to slip out the back door is Gross. He'll try to turn the tables. Man, we have spent this entire match in these types of scrambles which is where Gross is really comfortable, and he will roll him over for the exposure and get the two. Attack, seeing that the type of exertion it's taking and, and, and knowing Gross's ability to scramble. Apparently he just answered not. my question. He did not back off of the shots, and he paid for it, but the last attack wasn't even a shot. It was a front headlock, and Gross looks to expose him here with the trapped arm gut wrench. Higuchi with, ooh, they called two to two, two and two, saying that both athletes Cracking him down, he needs to get his head up and get height as he does that. He's looking to expose him, he does, but it looks like it's gonna go 2-2. How they ruled that, they go to Higuchi, that was confirmed, Gross not given any points, so Higuchi right now with the one point. Okay, so the challenge is lost, the two red stands like we thought, but they will give a caution. Caution, when you go back, Gross is going to have to score some points. He's looking to score from the bottom position. Starting to pull away late here. Up five, and he's going to get exposure again. The points that he has just unleashed on every opponent today. The youth against the experience. Haji Aliyev, 31 years old, two-time Olympic medalist. Will this be a statement match for Rahman Amuzad Khalili, the 20-year-old from Iran? And right out of the gate, early offense coming from Iran, and he will. He's looking to get to the edge, but getting stretched out a little bit. Popping his head up through the middle, looking to get an exposure or a takedown. Slowly trying to reposition, gets Khalili into a sit-out. In a pretty good spot here to get some points. And Aliyev, three world titles over the span of four years. There's a shot. And finishing it for two during the Greco-Roman coverage from our friend in Norway. As see the fireman's carry attempt here as he shoots in. Aliyev, that's twice he's tried to hit that. But you see the quickness of Khalili and he will smother him for two more from one of their wrestlers. Just Very impressive, always looking to score. Aliyah trying to do his quick stand-up turnaround, but... And a quick shot right off the whistle by Snyder, not wasting any time in very deep. And Snyder, simultaneous with the whistle, he just fired and he gets the two. Activity clock. Final few moments ticking down. Snyder goes up 3-0. 15 seconds remaining in this opening period. Again, Snyder. The Iranian's going to be looking for his attacks, but he can't seem to get settled in his tie-ups. Pay attention to Snyder. Oh, as, he digs in, as I say it, he digs into that nice underhook from Mohammedian. Can Snyder shut him down? Looking to reattack, staying in bounds. This will eat a lot of the clock. Snyder in the front headlock near the edge. Both feet go out of bounds. From the United States of America, Kyle Snyder. 